friends, Anna here. Today I'm excited to be back with another video painting some Valentine's Day cards with you. We'll be making four different cards and I started off by just cutting out some pieces of paper with a paint book I have and folding them. Each of my cards is six inches in height and just over four inches in width, but of course you can make your cards whatever size you like. To start off, we're going to prepare our paint. I'm using my Chocola gouache paint set. I've gotten into gouache paint just recently. It's a new medium I'm still experimenting with. For the cards we're painting today, I'm going to be diluting the gouache with water pretty heavily and almost basically using it like watercolor paint. So if you're painting with watercolor, you should find this pretty easy to follow along with as well. We'll mainly be sticking with shades of red, but there will be a little green for some leaves in the last two cards. I'm creating three shades of red here. On the bottom is my base color, crimson red. Above that, I mix the crimson with my vermilion. Vermilion. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, nor do I know what that word means. I guess I could have looked it up before doing this voiceover, but here we are. <laughs> Anyways, I'm mixing those two reds to create an in-between shade that's just a tad brighter and warmer than the crimson. On top, I'm mixing the crimson with my brown color Burnt Umber to create a darker shade of red. And since I'm using brown instead of black, it will also give it a bit of a warmer tone as well. As always, all the supplies I'm using will be linked in the description box below. Getting started with our first card, as you can see, I've already lightly sketched out my plan with a pencil, and I'm going to begin by creating some light-colored blobs, for lack of a better word, using a medium-sized flat paintbrush. I'm following the grid I drew in pencil, sectioning out the card into nine grid spaces, and I'm painting these shapes alternating between those three shades of red. I'm mixing a lot of water in with the gouache so that it's not opaque at all, and once I have that base, I go back over it with some strokes that are a little more saturated with paint, and then blend that in. not trying to be precise at all with these shapes or the shades in the paint. I think something about that variety enhances this design. After letting that dry, I'm using some of this cute washi tape to fix the card down to my desk so it doesn't move during the next step. Now I'm going to use my Stedler fine liner pen, this is width 0.5 millimeters, to draw some hearts and floral designs over the shapes. Like the blobs, I am using a variety of heart shapes as well so it's not too uniform. Some of them are squat and wide, some are thin and tall. For the greenery, I'm just drawing some random and simple designs, varying how big each plant is or the shape of the leaves. I think this card would be great not only for your significant other, but could go to a parent or other family member or a friend too. Last step is to erase the pencil marks, and here's the final card. On to our second card. 
I think this is the simplest and quickest design. We're going to start out using my plain crimson red color to paint a light heart that takes up a good amount of the card space. You could maybe do this with a bigger brush, but I did want there to be some streaks and the paint not to be totally even to give the heart some character. I'm now going back over it with that darker shade of red that I added brown to and creating some darker spots. To help blend these in, I use a clean brush that has just a bit of water on it to blend where the different shades meet. I'm using my washi tape again to hold the card in place. And then I'm going in with my small soft tip Tombow brush pen to write the lyric from the well-loved Beatles classic, All You Need Is Love. I'm using my larger Tombow brush pen to write love in a slightly bigger font. This design is super clean and simple, definitely a quick card to make, but I love how it turned out. Okay, we're going to start out our third card with some more calligraphy. I'm writing out the verse, I have found the one whom my soul loves from Song of Solomon 3-4. I'm using my small hard tip Tombow brush pen to do the smaller letters and using the soft tip pen for the bigger words since I'm able to press down a little harder on that tip and get some thicker lines. We're going to decorate this quote with some flowers. I'm going back to that darker shade of red to paint the flowers, and I really didn't have a specific flower in mind here. I'm really just trying to create the abstract shape of one. I'm painting the flowers by filling in a base that's really light, diluted with water. And then at the base of the flower, I added some strokes of more saturated paint. I then blend that in by cleaning my brush and then going in with just a bit of water on the brush to spread the paint out and blend it. Now I'm going in with green to paint the stems and leaves. I started out with the color deep green from my paint set and mixed in some of the brown burnt umber color and a mustard yellow to get this warm dark green shade. I'm using just a short stroke of the brush and letting that create the shape of the leaves. Like I mentioned, I'm going for a pretty abstract style here. One of the things I love about this type of painting is you can really just let the paint work for you, let it blend and spread naturally, and just keep working at it until you're happy. I think that creates a beautiful effect.
for the leaves at the bottom, I created a more defined shape using a few paint strokes. And since these stems turned out a bit lighter, I'm going to go back over them and try to match the shade of the flowers on top. To tie the letters in with the painting, I'm using the same red paint as I used for the flowers to add a little shadow to some of the bigger words in the verse. Lastly, I'm adding in a border around the quote and going behind the flowers to just give it a little finishing touch. I think this is such a sweet and romantic card for a spouse or significant other, and it's the one I plan on giving my husband. Okay, on to our last card, which might have turned out to be my favorite. Well, actually, I don't know. I honestly really like all of them. But I had already sketched out the design in pencil, and I sketched it out exactly in the order you're going to see me paint it in. First, I'm painting these flowers with my dark red color, and I used a plumeria flower as a very loose inspiration for these. My technique for the flowers is I start out with a very light base of five petals, and then with some strokes of a more saturated paint, I outline one side of each petal, almost in a spiral design. This spiral is a key characteristic of those plumeria flowers. Then I clean the brush, and with just a bit of water, I blend those colors together. When blending, I'm just letting the paint do its thing, and I keep blending until I like how it looks. Now I'm painting in the vines that will connect all these flowers and end up creating a heart shape. When drawing and painting the vines, I usually would just start with drawing a long stem connecting to flowers or two areas of space and then filling it in with leaves alternating on each side. And then when there was space left in each area, I just created some more vines wherever it was needed. This was such a relaxing painting to do, honestly. Sometimes in art, I think it's easy to get caught up in just trying to get to that end product, but I love moments like these when I remember to slow down and fully enjoy the process and experience of creating it as well.
Okay, let's take a look at all the final cards. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had a lot of fun creating these and I hope you enjoyed watching or painting along. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe if you want to follow along for more. I hope you guys have a lovely Valentine's Day.